We now return to our secret spy car testing centre, where work continues with our Bond car on a budget. And now we come to really the Bond signature gadget dish, the ejector seat. To recap, in the film Goldfinger, the villain is sitting in the seat, the passenger seat of Bond's DB5, with a gun levelled at Bond's head. And then Bond presses the thing somewhere, the roof opens, the seat flies out, and the villain is just ejected into oblivion. Well, now I have fitted this car with a similar device, achieved for an awful lot less than the original ejector seat cost. So, James, are you ready for this? No. Do you think a baddie is going to nonchalantly climb into this seat when it says on it quite clearly, pull to eject? You see, that's a cunning double bluff, because they'll think, well, that can't be an ejector seat. It says ejector seat on it. But in actual fact, it is. All right, so we need a demonstration. I've arranged for a Bond-type villain to get in. So if you'd like to you see, look, Jaws. Ish. Laurel and Hardy. Ish, maybe. In you get. Yeah, you see, you're going to be the villain. <laughs> yes. Don't pull that lever yet. OK. Um, is he going to say, that's another fine ejector seat you've got me into? Well, possibly. Um, so if we're ready, let's get the button and uh, retreat. Uh, perhaps a bit further. A bit further, maybe. A bit further. OK, now, don't worry, this is just a test, so when I hit this button, there's a tiny charge, the roof will fly off, and your chair will pop up six inches, something like that. You'll be safe. Uh, right. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's, the, the roof was supposed to come off. Yeah, I would have guessed that. Yeah. I, I don't know that's going well. Is he all right? I think he might be cross. Mm. 